This video is brought to you by Channel Grim and Grin's own Screams from the Crypt. Twenty tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome to this build request, which is not really a build request as no one's actually requested it, but people were building it in the Channel Grim and Grin Discord for themselves, and I decided I wanted to have a crack at it. And so, while they didn't actually ask for it, this one goes out to Vladimir Cognoscenti and The Rocket, who were both building Thunderbird 2 for themselves, and now I am. I'm surprised it took me so long to have a crack at a Thunderbird vehicle, as I've always been a fan of the Thunderbirds, and international rescue vehicles look awesome, so it really is high time I gave it a go. And Thunderbird 2 is actually my favourite Thunderbird, in fact I think I have a toy of it somewhere, so it's a pretty good one to have a start on. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Thunderbirds, firstly go watch it, and I don't mean the new one or the movie, I mean go watch the original show, it uses what they call Super Mario Nation, which essentially means they're all puppets, but being all puppets, all of the vehicles they interact with are also models, and because of this the show is one of the most impressive and extensive display of miniatures for special effects I've ever seen, the episodes are an hour long each, and every single one of them has sci-fi vehicles engaging in rescues, so from an entertainment standpoint it's great, and from a filmmaking standpoint it's just staggeringly impressive, so if you're into either of those two things, watch it. But I digress, Thunderbird 2 is the second of the Thunderbird vehicles, the big green one, which is primarily used to transport other vehicles to the missions, which it does through use of pods. And so of course, while building it, the main goal in achieving its functionality was for it to have and to be able to drop a pod. To begin with, to make sure I had the functionality down, I built a very basic skeleton of the vehicle and also the pod, and rigged it up to work the way I hoped to make it work, just to make sure it was all working properly. It should be noted that my use of tow bars here instead of an attacher was actually Vladimir's idea, so props to him from that, it works very well. And then when the skeleton showed itself to work well, I moved on to fleshing it out more. And from a aesthetic point, I wanted it to look pretty seamless, if you watch the show, there's not exactly a large gap between the vehicle and the pods. It's all rather seamless, so I wanted to do that also as best as I could. And I ended up achieving this look by having it so wherever the pod would be touching the vehicle, it's actually upside down wedge blocks, so they're not actually connected even though they appear to be. Then I moved on to trying to make the pod itself look better. The entire vehicle was kind of dome shaped in a way, so I had to make sure the curvature followed the whole vehicle. Then I also started to use storage trays to extend the part limit, which became a real problem with this build, as it does for most large builds. Please Rare, it's been 12 years, but update the game and give us some more pieces. But I digress, once that was done and the part limit was being a bit kinder for a little while, I added floaters to the pod, so if I drop it in water it doesn't sink, because it doesn't in the show, and then gave the entire vehicle a paint job to get a good idea of how it was looking. At this point, I was already pretty happy with it, but decided to spend a little bit more time working on the spoiler to try to make it a bit more dynamic, appear a bit closer to how it looks in the show, and give it that sort of flared outlook rather than being just straight backwards. This ended up to be more of an endeavour than I thought it would be, as of course, as soon as I started playing around with it, I immediately hit the part limit again, and so had to quickly start working on that. I ended up doing this by adding a lot of ammo blocks to the pod that gets dropped, which actually ended up looking okay, then all that was left to do was make a small adjustment to the wings, and it was looking FAB. And so there you have it, Thunderbirds 2 from the Thunderbirds in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. If you like a copy of the vehicle in your own save, as always, what's going to follow now is the layer by layer of it, which, come to think of it, I don't think International Rescue themselves would ever say since they have stringent rules against the photography of their vehicles, but I'm going to allow it, don't tell Mr. Tracy. But with all of that said and done, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, I have been and still am, Grim Grindle. If you'd like to follow me on social media or join the channel Grim and Grim Discord, links to both of those are in the description below.
Screams from the crypt, as heard by Darkwell Bled. Twenty tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now.